Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Pal Gasol. I'm excited to try out Pal, man. I think he's actually gonna be a really interesting option. I think he's better at center than power forward. He's a seven footer. My question is, how does he compare, in all honesty, to the other gambling only bigs? That is what I want to know. Because he's a gambling only card, obviously. Is he on the level of the other ones? In my opinion, honestly, none of these Opals are really worth gambling for this week. None of these cards are worth gambling for, period. But especially, I like the Opals. Just go get the Pink Diamonds, man. There's really good Pink Diamonds this week. We've seen guys like Caruso, Jordan Walsh, Dyson Daniels, and then obviously uh, Tyrus Thomas and Dino Raja are two of the best. A guy like Gasol or Lamar Odom or D-Wade or whatever, like they're not special. They're just not. But I do think this Gasol card would be pretty good. Obviously a Lakers legend. Kobe loved him, so we love him. Shout out Pau Gasol, and I'm excited to try the card out. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's check out Mr. Pau. Seven foot, 99 offense, 99 defense. Um, really good post game, obviously, but I'm not really a post play player. 95 mid range, 93 ball, 90 free throw, and 90 standing, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 90 pass sack. See, defensively pretty darn solid really good rebounder 87 speed 85 speed ball 85 excel it's a little slower than the other recent bigs we've been getting i will say but 94 strength 98 stamina 88 lateral quickness certainly not bad 27 hops include a ton of interior badges obviously blinders catch and shoot limitless is a dub anchor rebound chaser precision dunker and movable enforcer is huge and that's a big w that he has that he has gold agent three guard up pretty close to everything unpluckable clamps brick wall uh blow by speed booster rights to gripper bulldozer like he is a very nice all-around card with a lot of good Badges. Now, I would add handles for days, ankle braces, pick dodger, fast feet, that type of stuff, the defense, and then maybe a handles for days to really soup him up badge wise if you do plan on using this card if you were to get him. But as a whole, I mean, I think he's going to be a really good card, and I'm definitely intrigued to try the card out. So, without further ado, let's let's see what the SIGs are looking like, first and foremost. So, escape, eh. Uh, it's not a great escape. It's not a bad escape, though. I don't know what escape he actually has, but I wouldn't say it's it's a bad one. It's just, it's just okay. The release is... Yeah, I don't know. The release isn't great. I'm not gonna sit here and gas his release. Even on very quick, it's not super quick. But then again, like neither is neither is Wilts, neither is Giannis, is in my opinion. I think it's kind of similar to those guys' releases in terms of speed, especially a guy like Wilt, um, a guy like Shaq, that type of card, maybe even a Kareem, that type of release. It's not that good. But there are a lot of top tier bigs where that's the case. I just don't know if he is quite there speed wise, athletically, uh, as a playmaker to really overcome that. He is going to be a good, versatile defender, but I just think guys like Wilt give you more overall. Hakeem and D Rob have better releases and are more athletic. Like to me, when it comes to gambling only bigs, he's kind of in the further back half of the group for sure. Um, not a bad card, but I don't think he's going to be top tier incredible either. But I'm excited to try him out, see what he can do. Top into a game. And let's try out Mr. Pau Gasol. All right, going up against SGA, Rod Artest, LeBron, Siakam, and freaking 100 overall Shaq. Well, we got ourselves an elite level team. We have a great team ourselves, obviously, but this dude's team is phenomenal. So we get a pretty fun matchup here. And uh, I will say at center, there is no better matchup, at least defensively, pretty much, than a guy like Shaquille O'Neal. Although he might want to, like, consider guarding the pop because... Well, maybe not, because slightly early on Siakam. Siakam's release is just so mediocre, bro. It's, like, so disappointing. Can he guard? Like, Shaq is 100 overall, but I think, I mean, Siakam, Powell should be able to guard, man. He should get stops. Exactly. That was a bad, honestly, that was kind of a bad take in general. He didn't really get a good positioning there on the inside, and it didn't work out for him. So we drive the ball, and this time we hit our pop again. Uh, let's see what he does here with Shaq. See if he how well he stays in front. Does not do a great job of it. We get inside, and look at Powell finishing over Siakam. Looking very big with his finishing ability. They're able to get that over a very good defender so love to see that not a bad pull up mid-range there and he knocks it down that was actually a good shot you get a little bit of a niche area for that shot and uh let's go pick and pop again actually see a pal was open in the corner there but i would have had to hit that pass so quickly i think it would have been a bit tough to get going there but kind of didn't use my screen very well there didn't create a ton of separation get off the pop here we get a mismatch hop step through hit the corner back door please get behind Shaq very good pump fake he's gonna jump and we get a standing very very nice I'm in your head too I got it. I knew he was gonna jump that was beautiful defense very very effective uh wall up on the inside Akeem good defense this dude doesn't seem all that great he's got an amazing team but I'm not super confident in his skill set although he does get to the room with Braun there not totally sure why my Siakam jumped 
uh, unfortunately does result in points for him drag back here let's burst towards the middle of the court our test again run the core ball up it's just he's he, he literally just popped a little bit too deep there and that takes away almost all opportunity to score on this possession instead of pretty easily being in a good spot to score he's not in a great spot to score instead but does get inside Shaq is a very large very physical man who fouls me but we are able to get to the free throw line we have an opportunity to score uh first free throw is up it's late but it is good he's got free points love to see that gonna have to be uh mindful of his release at the free throw line being pretty quick second one is up and in though i timed that one obviously much better because i greened it um so that's a dub let's see what we can do here good defense here um back it up now wall it up on the inside click on and oh it's just not great defense man but it's all right um because he missed it wasn't great defense i'm not going to sit here and lie about that but it is all right because he missed um burst here back inside to pow and i mean pow is an inside big and i am trying to use him on the inside right now i would like to get it a pop open for three but every time i run a pick and pop he pops too deep finally pop to a good spot and greens it beautiful stuff is the release fast no is it usable 100 he has been a very solid card uh in this game so far and look at shaquille o'neal just doing shack glitchy things that shack card is so good um in so many ways he just doesn't have a great release but everything else about him is very very good obviously um honestly i, I don't hate the way this game's going though in general we're doing a good job and i think pal gasol is 100 percent out playing 100 overall right now which is that's enough of a vote of confidence for me to at least say he's decent he might not be the best card in the game but he's definitely not garbage i did not want to shoot that that was supposed to be a pump fake and then kick it back to gasol at the top of the key and siakam went up it gets me free throws, so I guess I shouldn't complain, but it was not a shot that I wanted to shoot. Uh, that's all right, though. Uh, I apparently shot a very early on that free throw as well. Very cool. Did not mean to do that, but that's okay. Um, good release here, and we do knock that one down. Five-point lead, two and a half minutes left. Siakam, or sorry, uh, Gasol has been a big contributor so far in this game, too. Um, defensively, he's been very good. That is kind of a shot I live with, to be honest. I just don't like Shaq's... I don't know. His release is so bad. I really want to make Shaq shoot anything that isn't on the inside. Even though he's got basically perfect badges and everything, I still just want to attack him on the, make him shoot the ball because he just, his release is so poor. Nice standing again. Hoff, rise up. Pau Gasol is doing it on the interior of this game, man. He is making an impact at a high level, which is exactly what we knew he was capable of doing. And in all honesty, I think we might have just gotten ourselves a quit as well. I think that might be that. Um, good card, 100%. Yeah, I would say Pau Gasol is no doubt. I don't know how truly elite he is compared to the best gambling bigs in the game. I still just don't think he's quite got the speed nor the versatility to be like best of the best, but he is a very, very solid card and he has had himself a quite the game. Nice hop step for a layup there, slashing take. He's shown some athleticism and ability to put the ball on the floor as well and attacking a 99 speed big too. You love to see that. You, you feel free, bro. I'm honestly like Shaq is the worst I think he might be the worst 100 overall simply because I just don't trust his release in the slightest. And like Pau Gasol has outplayed Shaq in this game without a doubt. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. Uh, behind the back here, burst one more time. Attack off the hill, downhill off the dribble. Very nice pop. Pau hits another three and pow, pow, pow. 16 points, three rebounds, six and seven, two of three from three. That is a heck of a performance in just over four minutes of gameplay. Very impressed by what Pau Gasol has been able to do in this game. So hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace